The Thursford Christmas Spectacular 2018 Reviewed by Michael Parkinson Joan and I have attended the Christmas Spectacular every year since 2010 and went to the matinee performance on Wednesday the 15th of November 2018. I plan to speak a review with video clips of parts of the programme which is a bargain at just five pounds. There were more than 40 dancers. This was just one of their great routines. There were more than 40 singers who sometimes sang on stage but often moved along or stood in the gangways in the auditorium. They were standing within touching distance next to members of the audience. This was a lovely experience which brought tears of emotion to my eyes. Do you like good music and pretty dances? That routine with the tankards was absolutely brilliantly choreographed. These were the dancers that did a fantastic drumming routine. And the costumes were very nice and the drumming was lovely. Yeah, but how did they get those dancers to do that drumming? Because it was clever, wasn't it? It was. The way they hit the next drum, each side, backwards and forwards, was fantastic. Yeah, it? I don't know how they knew what they were doing. I don't. It was, it was brilliant. It was. That at the top was the Lonely Goat Herd routine. Yes, from the sound of music. Wasn't that brilliant? It was. But how did they cope with those huge shoes that they had on? I have no idea. But they were supposed to be the puppets that Julie Andrews portrayed in the sound of music. So the dancers behind them, they were, they were guiding them because they, they, could, they couldn't know where they were going in those shoes, no, could they? No. What was that, Joan? That middle line? Sister Act from the film with Whoopi Goldberg. Oh, right. Is that where they're singing River Deep and Mountain High? Yes, all the nuns and the habits, yes. So what were these, Joan? These were the singers singing all... Christmas songs. Yeah. Yes, there was more concentration on Christmas songs this year than actual carols, wasn't there? Yes. Which I thought was good. It was. That bottom line was the mugger routine, which I thought was absolutely fantastic. How did they do that without getting mixed up? I just don't know. Kept chinking the mugs with each other. Yeah. It was good. It was brilliant, wasn't it? Yeah. And they were the dancers that did a brilliant ballet routine. They were the dancers involved in the can-can routine. Oh, I enjoyed that. These are the musicians, over 40 of them. More of the musicians. Comedian Paul Eastwood even got organist Phil Kelso saying the punchline of one of his jokes. Kitchen sink humour, I thought. Pipers Robert Watt and George Carney provided the only piped music in the show. Vanessa Alvarez performed whilst members of the orchestra played lively music around her.
David Sherwood organises his white doves to fly across the auditorium at the end of the show and answered questions from the audience in a very friendly manner. See a separate video titled Doves of Thursford Christmas Spectacular in Basket at End of Show. This is the 38th consecutive year that Phil Kelsall has played the Wurlitz organ in the Thursford show. I am always fascinated that apart from his individual spot, he carefully follows the enormous score as he accompanies the orchestra in most of the show. This is in complete contrast to his playing for dancing in the Blackpool Tower Ballroom. The male singers performed I'm a Train with loads of movement and clever choreographed routines. Singers do not just stand and sing at Thursford. Just one black mark, assistant musical director Daniel McLaughlin, standing to the right of the picture, conducted the singers and orchestra impressively and efficiently, but the audience were not informed that he was replacing Benjamin Ellen for the performance that we attended. This concludes my review of a truly magnificent show, performed in a traction engine exhibition shed at a village called Thursford Green. This is 10 miles from Blakeney in Norfolk.